The point is as follows. Ibn Jawzi rahmatullah alayhi writes it. He says, when Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam was tempted with zina, the dynamics around him were very unique. And hence the reward was equally great. Number one, فَإِنَّهُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامْ كَانَ شَابًا وَالشَّبَابُ مَرْكَبُ الشَّهْوَى When Yusuf a.s. was tempted with zina, he was a young man. And youth and lust are synonymous. It goes together. A young man in his youth, I don't have to tell you what happens to him. He was unmarried. So he didn't have a legitimate alternative. He didn't have a lawful substitute. That is why Imam Ahmad rahmatullah said, حَدَّثْنَا هَيْثَمْ قال حدثنا إسماعيل بن عياش عن عبد الرحمن بن عدي البهراني عن يزيد بن ميسرة أنه قال إن الله تعالى يقول أيها الشاب التارك شهوته لي المتبذل شبابه من أجلي أنت عندي كبعض ملائكتي What did he say? He said A young man in the prime of his life when his youth is at optimum level brimming to its maximum temptations around him a woman at his disposal, money in his pocket. And then he objectively channels his youth in the obedience of Allah. Allah says to him, Anta indi ka ba'di malaikati. You rank to me equal like how my angels rank to me. You rank to me equal like how my angels rank to me.